Okay, so I got a whole bunch of stuff in for ghost hunting. <laughs> yeah, we want the other one on. You're right. Thank you. Because we are planning on testing it out, hopefully in a cemetery. And we're talking to our friend Phoebe here, and uh, I wonder if she'll say hi to you. You could turn the other one off, that's easier. Oh, thank you, you're trying. Oh, they Yay! did it! <laughs> Notice me. <laughs> brought them flowers. And I tried, tried it out, did not do that. Oh. And we're your ghost hunters. <laughs> Hi, I'm Em. And I'm Liv, and we're your meta sidekick. So, today we're testing out our ghost hunting equipment in the cemetery that we made a video in a while ago. Yes. I'll post it here somewhere. These are our ghosty friends. <laughs> and it's great because today was supposed to be like super stormy, and it's not. It's beautiful. <laughs> and we came to see all of our beautiful soul friends. Yeah, but we got them flowers and stuff. Um, Fennel was eating the flowers. Yes, Fennel's just eating everything. Absolutely but everything. We also wanted to introduce you to our team because we have people that are gonna come with us on our ghost investigations. <laughs> <laughs> They're not used to this yet. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're gonna try is this REM pod. And basically the REM pod, there's I think multiple ways you can use it. You can do it by temperature, which I have no idea how to do. There's instructions over there that I didn't read. Or if things get close to this antenna, it's gonna go off and these are gonna light up. So if you turn it on, if you get close to this antenna, it's gonna start making that horrible sound and it's gonna start flashing. And then we have the EMF reader. So this reads electromagnetic fields, and uh, I'm not entirely sure how they make it go off. It's supposed that when ghosts come by, they emit an electromagnetic frequency just like people do, but it's more intense because they're not physical anymore, they're spiritual, I believe. Um, so then it just changes the uh, color on here? Yes. Yeah. And the higher the EMF reading, the mm, to, more to the right it'll go. Stop eating things off the floor. This is not potato bug time. So the last time we were here, Carolyn is the first, or Caroline, is the first person that talked to me. And she's really, really sweet. I was nervous about- Can you make it stop? It might just be off. Let's try again. She says, what do you want me to do? Put your hand near this, see if it works. That. And I was really nervous um, about coming here because the reason we choose this place is because everyone is very much past, which is good. So we don't think any pat like current loved ones would be offended of yeah, us being it's here. It's an old cemetery. Very like everyone's what like I said was alive during the spiritualist movement in, in America. So it's like 1860s is when they were alive and past. But I was nervous because I'm like, no one's going to be able to get the validation if I'm talking to these souls of if I'm actually talking to them. Because when I do readings, I have my client to give me validation. So I was nervous that I wasn't going to get that. Carolyn, or Caroline was one of the very first people that I spoke to. I guess she likes this story. Can you make it stop? You just get away from it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> She's just trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but immediately she met us down there where we parked our car on the benches and she started talking to me about her home. And I said, I feel like her name is like, it's Caroline. There's an older woman now too. What does she look like? I feel like her name's Caroline. What does she look like? She's older. She has her hair pulled back, but it's silver. 76. 76. Why is she here? What does she want to say? Oh, she just noticed that people were here and she was like, what's going on? Yes. <laughs> Can you make it stop? Yeah. Oh, thank you. 
She says it's like playing an instrument. Yeah, it's weird. She's like, if you blow too much, the, the noise keeps going like a bagpipe. She's saying a bagpipe. Because <laughs> when you play a bagpipe, you fill up the bagpipe and then you don't have to keep blowing for a while until the air starts to run out. And it isn't until the air runs out that you have to re-blow it. She's like, so if I stand really close to it, it keeps going for a second, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I feel when I touch it. It's like, please stop making that horrible sound. <laughs> but, um... She told me what her name was and then I said, okay, well, I don't know if I know if like I hear a name and she gave me a date yeah. and it was like 76 or something um, of when she, when she passed. <laughs> She's having fun. <laughs> Ask her how she does that weird side thing. Is it like... What's the side thing? Where she like changes the frequency. How's she doing that? She's talking to some little boy about it. Does the little boy know how to do it? <laughs> That's how he does it. He steps forward. His his energy adds to hers, and it makes that when ah. he gets closer and farther away from her. Sit. Got you. Will you walk away from it? Thank you. <laughs> it was wild. But she's really sweet, and she led us to her to, to her headstone, which is very interesting. And the number 76 is the age that she died at, if you read. <laughs> yes. What did I say? Is this Caroline? <laughs> did she show you where it was? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking weird. That's cute. I'm freaked out. Why well, I me? Mean <laughs> We're in a cemetery, you're talking to dead people. <laughs> Loud noises! Did I, did I say Caroline? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Caroline. That's so spooky! She's like, it's not spooky! <laughs> She's like... Yeah, I unboxed this in my basement and I try, tried it out. Did not do that. <laughs> so, I got my REM pod. And basically how it works is anything that gets close to this antenna it goes off. So, yeah. Can anyone touch it? Touch it. Do it. All you have to do is go and touch the antenna. Now, what's the difference between this red beep and then the green lights? Again, I didn't read the instructions. Because <laughs> I didn't know where the instructions were until this morning. The instructions are ah. amazing. Are the instructions here? Because yeah. they said that they want to show you what it means. So I've got the instructions. There's about four to five souls around. There's Carolyn, a little boy, an older man, and then I want to say there's another man and an older woman, but they're like more like watching because they're much older than the other three souls that are presenting. <laughs> but I'm going to ask them to make a noise and then Em's going to tell me what the directions are and they're going to help us oh, figure out how this works. Oh, you're going to need to give me a second. <laughs> so it senses motion and temperature? Yes. So things closest to the antenna would be the motion and those are the big balls and the closer the more balls will light up and then the small one is temperature okay yes thank you <laughs> okay you got any questions for him yeah Okay. Carolyn, when I first met you you welcomed me metaphysically into your home with a pie if that is Correct. Can you make one of the lights go off for me? I know I don't need the validation from other people, but the other people need the validation from you and me. That's the whole point. I know it's silly. Thank you. What's temperature? Can you make it stop? <laughs> it's the pie. She did a really good pie. Rhubarb pie. She likes rhubarb pie? She made rhubarb pie. I can taste it. I can, smell I can it. taste it. <laughs> it's just like old lady type things. I just wanted the internet to know that oh. it was her that we were talking to. I don't know what you meant by it's the pie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like it's the pie that's making it go off? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I said if, well, you'll, yeah. Thank yeah. you.
<laughs> it was the pie. You, you are correct. Oh. <laughs> Can you make this go off? It's a little different. Yeah, don't I don't know, really know how it works. I think you go in front of this. Do you know where they are? Are they physically here? Some of them are, but some of them are like in a place to have like a picnic. Okay. Do you know where one of them is? Step away from that. It really has a loud noise. Mm. Thank you. Could you grab the, the little boy again? I feel like his name is Charlie. He has blonde hair. Um, see if he would light up our EMF reader, because I'm sure he has more than enough energy. <laughs> Thank you. I know, they're eating potato salad. It's very interesting. We would appreciate if you could just like come over. Show us how it works. <laughs> but we don't even know. I think you have to stand in front of this. Cause uh, I'm not giving it off. Will my phone get it off? No. So say that again. So basically when I looked up and I read briefly, it was what's, their, what's the spirit manifesting itself? That's when the meter will go off because it's producing a lot of energy. Oh, I see. They're explaining it to me. That's when I see people physically. That's mm -hmm. what they mean by manifestation. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they're showing me when Amanda, they're showing me Amanda in uh, Sam and Colby's videos when she's able to see them. She yeah. puts this in front of them and then it, it goes off. Oh, okay. But she only sees them when they manifest themselves in the physical realm. Oh my god. It's That's going insane. all the way up to 8.5. Can't see it on camera. That's like right where he landed. That's where his head was, right yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I sat there. Oh, 90s? Why would it be doing that? Because he's moving away from me. Oh, he That's was. That's why I'm following him. So, <laughs> that's why it works when she does it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All okay. right. We're going to go visit Phoebe. Oh, wait, before I go. We have um, other ones to test, too. We can do this one next. Do you want red flowers, like the pink flowers, or do you want the yellow flowers? Red flowers. Red? Okay, we'll go get you some red flowers. So the next thing that we're going to test, this is the thing I didn't unbox yet, but it's called the Poulter Tune. And if you've watched Sam and Colby's videos, they have a weird music box that's a motion detector. This is kind of the same thing, but it's not like the weird coffin type deal. So the sensor is at the top of here. They just need to walk in front of it and then the music will start playing. I tested it in my basement. Hopefully it works, but it was doing weird things. Phoebe's one of my favorites. <laughs> are you standing over there? Because if you are. Stop making me go off. <laughs> I want to go that way. Sorry, I know I keep having you move around. Okay, can you make it go off? Thank you, Phoebe. Can you make it stop? Can you make it stop? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. She's so cool. <laughs> Were you standing over there, and that's why it's going off? Or is it just stupid? Yep, I thought it was just stupid too. Can you make it stop? Are you the coolest human there is? <laughs> Are you the coolest spirit there is? She's very humble. Oh, I see. Phoebe, are you, do you like fennel? They were kind of harder over there on her. Come on. What? <laughs> do you like dogs at all? Are you a cat person? <laughs> I'm a cat person too. <laughs> Phoebe, could you make this go off for me? It's not on. <laughs> you can't touch it without it making noise, so that's how you do. Know. Thanks. Could you make the music box go off again? I really like the song, it's kind of cute. We won't ask Much you. less annoying. Yeah, <laughs> Rembot. 
We won't tell you to stop it again. You can get a good a good couple stanzas in. Get a couple stanzas. <laughs> what? I want to dance. Come on. Phoebe, can I uh, put you on TikTok? So this is a polter tune and it's one of these music boxes that's motion censored. And we're talking to our friend Phoebe here and uh, I wonder if she'll say hi to you. Yeah, we also have a REM pod, so. <laughs> Phoebe, could you turn off the REM pod and go back to the music box for us, please? You have 60 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> If you would like flowers, can you make something either turn off or turn on? Okay. You don't care what flowers? Do you want both colored flowers? Turn something on if you would like both colored flowers. I like her, so you should just give her both colored flowers. <laughs> if M's right, will you turn something on, please? Okay. <laughs> Explain that, uh, the flashlights. Once I can get it set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> well, Anthony's done. We're going to put the flashlights up against the base of this tree because that's what they're telling me that we need to do next. It's the most shaded, and if the flashlight turns on, you should see it up against the tree. Gotcha. So the souls keep telling me that when they're not here, they're at a picnic somewhere. And when I say a picnic somewhere, it's like a spiritual picnic, so like in heaven. Um, so the souls that have come here to talk to us pop in to the physical world for a hot second and then they're like, okay, am I done now? Can I go back to the picnic? So that's what they're doing today, which is interesting. But we have two flashlights and everyone here was uh, alive in the 1880s. So this is gonna be like a mixer. We got a girl's flashlight and a boy's flashlight. Let's see who can turn what one on first, <laughs> you know? Okay, so I've asked the spirits that are having a picnic that we're gonna have a race. And what it's gonna be for the competition is women are going to turn on the red flashlight and men are gonna turn on the black flashlight. I'm getting already sass about it. You're and I asked them not to touch, one of them's like, I'm gonna to touch whichever one I wanna to touch. Um, you won't be able to tell. <laughs> but I asked them to go get their friends from the picnic that they're having wherever spiritual dimension of what coolness. Um, and to stop the REM pod while we figured out what we were doing, because we don't know what we're doing, Fennel agrees and come back. So hopefully a couple of them have came back. I feel like there's one woman and a second woman who isn't as, ex as excited about it um, because she's like, I don't know, I don't really want to do this. But the other one's like, no, you're gonna do it because you're my friend. <laughs> and then there's three men who are a little bit more like, I feel like they were like a trio of guys um, and they're all wearing like, like dark suits with like the hats um, and they have like the musty stashes, so. But we're gonna see who can turn on the flashlights the most and on what size. So if you guys wanna do whatever it is that you wanna do with the flashlights, you have to like turn the front of it just, I know it's a lot, sorry. This is the conversations I have in my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to turn it a little bit to turn it on. It's gonna be hard. Turn the other one off if that's easier. I don't care which one does it. <laughs> oh, thank you, you're trying. Oh, they Yay! did it! <laughs> Woo! Is there someone named Anna or Charlotte? The black flashlight went off. Oh, Anna, are you the one touching the black flashlight? Because you're, you're cool. <laughs> Will you turn the REM pod off? Thank you. <laughs> Anna, can you turn on one of the flashlights? The black flashlights if you can? Have you guys got it down now? Yeah! What's up? If you guys have headstones anywhere, uh, you should tell us and we'll leave flowers for you. Oh, you got both of them? Thank you. <laughs> yes, you all can have flowers. 
we bring the flowers for um, the people that we know, but I don't know where your headstones are, so I don't know. Maybe they do something. Would you be able to tell us where they are with the spirit box? Because uh, I don't know how to use the spirit box as much as you do. <laughs> they yeah. don't know either. One of you will. Okay. Oh, the flashlight went off. <laughs> yeah, the rim pod's going off. Eloise, are you going to be able to tell us where everything is? Yes, <laughs> the flashlight went off. <laughs> so we're going to use the next thing. This is a spirit box. And we're going to use something called the SS method. She has noise canceling headphones on and it's directly inputted in here. And this basically sweeps through like radio stations and picks up what these spirits are saying. So they're going to pick the station that has like the word that they want to say to us. I'm going to say what I hear. Okay. And then you'll say what you hear. Anthony, yeah. do you want to ask questions? Yeah. So we are doing the SS method. We're going to try it again. Um, but I'm gonna do it so I know how this thing works. Alright, so you guys don't have to go by the REM pod, but we want to give you flowers. Can you tell me where your graves are? We already got Eloise, and I think an Anna. I don't really, I'm not sure about the Anna though. They're telling me that their graves are over there to the left hand side, up over that way. One of them is flat. See it on my left eye, it's flat. I think one of the men was the husband of Eloise. Because <laughs> she says one of the guys is right next to me. I think his name was Arnold, maybe. We'll see if M gets any names or directions. If you could give her names or directions, that would be great. But you're gonna wanna use whatever that is. So I don't know much about ghost hunting equipment, but they're telling me in order to move that or make things work. <laughs> I know, we're not using that again. Can you turn that off, please? Notice me. <laughs> Same. Yes, we notice you. What else? Can you tell us where your gravestone is so that we can leave flowers if you were- Wait, were you one of the people that won things? Yes or no? Were you someone trying to get flowers? I mean, we'll give them to you, but we're trying Marry to- Marry me? No! I don't know. <laughs> no! That's not what the flowers were for. Definitely. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. You think you're funny? More yes. information. More information about what? Oh, more information about how that works. I'm sorry. We had a jokester step in, so. Those souls that won, they're telling me that for this sort of paranormal um. method, you. So, radio waves are frequencies, right? And they're frequencies that you can't see, but they travel through the air. And they're saying, in order for them to get hurt to hear certain words, they almost have to like he said jump into it or say something. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Is that Phoebe? I don't know. I keep getting ah. probably Phoebe. I told you when we first got here, she was singing. Yes. So they have to like sort of jump their voices into the frequencies for the frequencies to get like caught. That's what they're kind of making me feel. Almost like wind, but there's words in the wind, like stanzas or music like notes. A Yeah. <laughs> oh, we did? <laughs> Stella? Yeah, because um, I've been seeing this number everywhere. 1969. Okay. Why? I don't know. But. She's really cute. She thinks she's going to be on TV. <laughs> she's sitting on the side of the tombstone like this with her feet out. <laughs>
Her Can I put that stuff way. on top of her tombstone? Yeah, she okay. just padded next to her where her name okay, is. Okay, because that's what I was getting the feeling of when I was like, that's a little weird. Come here, son. Give Stella some room. But yeah, I keep seeing this number, 1969. Um, so, Stella, we're going to ask you to play the music box if you'd like. She's sitting there if you want to put that in the grass. Around the grass? In front of you. Yeah. Okay. Just put it like, yeah. I'm going to put the music box in here. He's still sitting there, but that's fine. Right here? Yeah. Okay, so we are going to uh, ask you to make the music box go off. And you do that by putting some sort of... Yeah. Can you do something like that for us? I'm going to turn this on it. When this one works like this, you can also change the temperature of it. Yeah. That's motion detected. Just put it back closer to you. Like right there. Yeah. It's where she's sitting is on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we want the other one on. You're right. Thank you. Yeah, that was really good. Do that That's one. So cool. Do the music box again. I know it's a lot. Thank you. See, you got it. You can play the whole tune. I don't care. Can I ask you a question? Am I seeing this number for a reason, or is it because of you? Is it because of you? Question number one. So I was seeing that number because I was supposed to meet you today. This number that. Patreon thinks that we're posting things in 1969. So when I saw that number, I was like, uh. <laughs> That's odd. Who is William? Is William your, let's see, your parents? Is this your parents? Did you plant this tree? She wants to go get her husband. Do you mind if she leaves for a second? Yeah, go for it. Whee! Okay, Stella, can you, yes. <laughs> can you use the music box to answer questions? And Robert, if you're next to her, <laughs> present, sorry. Could you use the REM pod to communicate? She says she wants both of them to use the music box. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So did you guys always live where we are today? Is this like your hometown where you were born and raised? No? Did you come from the... Come yeah. from what? Ah. Did you come from... Are you getting anything? Yeah! Are you getting anything? No. No, no? nothing really. Here, let me see him. Every she's gonna wait until I'm done asking the question to the best of her ability, even though she's able to read my mind, so... Stella, um, did you always want to be on the news? Is that why you keep showing me like the 70s news channels? Like one of the people on television? No. Em, do you feel like you're still here? I can't hear. Oh, okay, thank you. You're back. Thank you. So did you want to talk about... So I'm asking her why she moved to and I think she's just going to keep There's it going. That. Because I'm just going to answer all of the things that she's saying. So she's going to keep it going until I'm done explaining what it is that she already told me because it takes a lot no. less time. So she told me that she no. lived in for a while and the reason she moved I. here with her husband is you. <laughs> because there was more opportunities and it's a lot less quiet. She said back then was much more busy because there was more of like a booming Gone. economy so they moved here instead um, that was the reason she said she was going to make it stop when I got done right Stella thank you so much do you have anything else you want to say or do you want us to move on can we move on to something else or ask Em if she wants to ask okay do you want me to have Em ask you questions I don't um, okay Make 
Okay. I do not like and you see her? I hope she doesn't spit on me. <laughs> I feel like we're going into a family photo. Oh, yeah, right? it's a good time. Perfect. Is it recording? Yeah, it is recording. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We hope you guys were spooked and had fun with our picnic <laughs> games with spiritual, with literal souls. It was really fun, honestly. Yeah, and cool. if you guys have any suggestions of locations that you want us to go to, let us know in the comments. And again, we need freaking names for our ghost hunting team. So, so we're gonna put a couple on the internet. You guys should choose. Yeah, and if you wanna join Patreon, you get to choose between them. But uh, if you guys want more spoopy content like this, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Say it. One, two, you say three. It. We are your metal sock pitch. So I'm gonna unbox it now, and then we'll go in the future, and we'll show you guys how it actually works. See if I can get my spirit guides to talk to me. Um, I think you just do this. I can't understand, this is horrible. Guys, I have auditory processing disorder and that background noise of is really throwing me. It's not working. I guess we'll see you on Sunday.